finally. It's been nearly two years since the incredible Pascal line of GPUs were released, and it looks as though we'll be graced with the next generation cards very soon. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Melt. While Nvidia didn't release any new gaming GPUs at their GTC conference this year, which I'd say was suspect at best anyway, we did learn something very interesting. That is, Gamers Nexus did when they were speaking to SK Hennix, the memory manufacturer that's to be the first to bring GDDR6 to market this year. They're also rumored to be the suppliers of Nvidia's upcoming generation of graphics cards, and they gave Gamers Nexus some great information regarding their memory and the probable upcoming graphics cards. For one, GDDR6 is unfortunately 20% more expensive than GDDR5 when it came out. That means besides the already assumption I have that these cards will be more because at least some should have tensor cores, expect a small price difference from the onboard RAM. Luckily, for that 20%, you're getting memory that's twice as fast, so certainly not too bad of a trade-off. The next bit of information that Gamers Nexus got from SK Hennix is that we should expect GDDR6 to cover most or even all of Nvidia's next generation graphics cards. I wonder if that means we won't be getting updates to lower end cards this generation. Of course, Nvidia does launch their cards a little staggered, so it could just be referring to the initial launch setup. That or there may be just updated high end cards with tensor cores? I'd be surprised though, since they always offer a full new lineup. Next up, SK Hennix confirmed that they'll offer cards with either 8 or 16 gigabytes that run as high as 16 gigabits per second. Lastly, and this is one of the biggest takeaways, SK Hennix gave a time frame between June and July for mass production. That means we could see, given SK Hennix is the supplier for Nvidia, a launch frame around or not too long after July, which actually coincides with the rumor not too long ago that put the mass production of gaming cards, codenamed Turing, around mid-June. Also, July, August, June type release date is around the time Nvidia usually releases their GPUs. Basically, if you're looking to grab a new gaming GPU, which you probably will since these are more than likely set to support real-time ray tracing, you probably won't have to wait too long. Of course, understand that we can't guarantee around late July or August, but the memory would at least be available then, probably specifically for said release. So while that does it for today, what do you think of the news? I know it was pretty short, but are you excited for Nvidia's next generation lineup? Do you think it'll blow Pascal out of the water? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoy keeping up with all things gaming hardware news and reviews, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a great day.